I grew up on a nursery. So I grew up around plants, growing plants and gardening a lot. I never wanted to do that as a career in high school. I absolutely hated science. When I got to college, I had to take a science class and I took a non-majors genetics class. It blew my mind. I had an incredible professor and I immediately switched my major to biology. There are so many pros to my job. The variability, getting to be outside, getting to work in a really beautiful place are all pros. I get to work with a really great team of people. We have a really small crew out at the watershed and everybody is kind of like family. So we all have a really great working relationship, which I'm so grateful for. Certainly there are days when you're working in the snow or in the rain or in other conditions where it's cold. It can be very tiring. Occasionally, especially this time of year in the fall, you may be far out into the woods and then on your way back, you'll find the road blocked by a tree. So you're already tired and you have to like get out the chainsaw and cut the tree out of the road, which is a bummer when you're tired, but also is kind of cool. <laughs> my current job, I have done so many aspects of my current work for free in the past in various volunteering scenarios. So most days I still can't believe someone's paying me to do this. That's really great. And and being able to tap back into my childhood of working on a nursery, even though I for a long time tried to fight it, I it's really great and nostalgic almost for me to be working in a nursery again and being able to run things myself and also being able to share those experiences with my family. They're really excited about it too. Definitely enjoyed and got excited about teaching while I was in graduate school. I hadn't considered that really before. And that's something I still do now. I still teach part-time as an adjunct faculty member um, at some of the local colleges. And that's really important to me because for a long time, my dream had been to eventually get back into teaching full-time. So now I get to do both, which is really cool. And I can continue to provide relevant sort of on the ground uh, examples from my full-time job that I bring to my teaching, which is really great. After high school, I joined the Peace Corps, or sorry, after college, I joined the Peace Corps and I spent two years doing agriculture and agroforestry work in Senegal. And when I came back, I was a little more focused and went to graduate school for a more restoration ecology focused degree. Then my path got a little windy. I was teaching community college and also going to school full-time, finishing my PhD when I received a job offer from Tacoma Water to run their water conservation program, which was a bit of a divergence from what I had been working on, but it seemed like a really good idea. So I finished my teaching contracts, I finished my degree, and I started working for water. After that, I moved around a little bit within water and eventually landed where I am now as a biologist, which is probably where I'll stay for a very long time. Realizing at several points in my career, once I started at Tacoma Water, that I wasn't happy in the position I was in were really important. So being able to acknowledge and come to peace with the fact that the job I was doing, um, both of the jobs I had before this one were really great and I had really great coworkers and, and bosses, um, but they realizing they weren't the right fit was really helpful for me. And having the courage to say, I'm going to look for something else was really helpful. I love so many things about my job. Um, 
One of the best things is that it's really variable. So I get to be outside sometimes and inside sometimes. And um, I get to work on a ton of different projects um, and just do a lot of different things. So I'm always busy and I have a lot of just really interesting things to work on. I always feel so satisfied in putting any sort of plants in the ground. It's nice to have a visual representation of doing something good and planting plants and growing plants, I find to be a very satisfying one. I also really get a lot of satisfaction out of teaching. I've been lucky that almost every quarter I've taught in every classroom I've taught, I've had at least one student give me some really good feedback, some really positive, you know, this has changed my career path type of feedback. And that is absolutely the best. It's really, that keeps you going. In the larger scheme of things, even though it's less tangible, I find pushing changes in policy and writing grants for bigger projects where you don't get the visual right away or maybe ever, that's more of a long-term satisfaction, but also something that I think about in terms of legacy and once I'm gone, what's going to be um, living on and doing good in the world.